Hello and welcome to this video. In a previous session, we explored how to utilize Liquibase in Spring Boot application for database migration. In today's tutorial, I will guide you through Flyway, another popular database migration tool in the Spring ecosystem. Relying solely on GBA annotations to create database objects might not be efficient for managing schema changes and ensuring consistency across environments. In contrast, Flyway provides a structured approach to database schema management, offering explicit control over visioning and migration scripts. This ensures smoother collaboration among developers and facilitates seamless deployment processes. Let's create Spring Boot application to persist these two entities, core and owner. In IntelliJ, we create a new project, Spring Boot project, let's call it Flyway Demo using Maven, and we add Lombok. Web, it is REST API, and in SQL, we will use Spring Data GPA, and as you see, Flyway migration is suggested, so let's choose it, and we use Postgre as database, so we add the driver as well. So let's create, and the POM file, we see that the Flyway dependency is added and the version is managed by Spring itself. After that, we will define the configuration for the database. So in the application property file, we will add this configuration. So this is the URL to my local machine, username, my schema, password, my schema. So this is all you need to do. So Spring Boot will try to configure Flyway to use this SQL. So before doing that, we will add some entities in our project. We define this entity, new class, let's, let's call it car, and it looks like this. So I'm using Lombok, so we are using few GPE annotations. For example, ID to define a primary key and column just to give a name to this column. In our example, the column name is the same as the field. And we have here a relation to another entity. So let's define it. So this is our second entity. Now let's have a look on the database. We add new data source. My schema on my local machine so let's check the database so as you see this schema is empty now let's see what's happened when we run the application we didn't add anything special only the dependency to flyway jar file so let's run the application and see what will happen as you see nothing happens nothing in the log file if we check the database, we see that a new table has been created. So let's have a look on it. This table is now empty because until now we didn't define any scripts in DB migration. So the default folder where to put the scripts is called DB migration. So let's generate to script to create the car table and the owner tables. So inside this folder DB migration, we will create new first file called v ones double underscore create core table. So this is a convention. The first part is the version of the file. So this one, because it will be executed first and double score and here the action and here the name of the table. If you create new table, this is the name of table. This is a just convention. The most important things that Flayway will execute those file ordered by name. And inside this file, we define the DDL to create the course table. And now let's stop and run again the application and check the log. As you see now migration, there is some information version one. We see that one file, this one, a file has been applied or v once, and we can check that in the database indeed so the course table has been created and let's have a look on this log table flyway schema and you see version one do you see a few information the name of the script and this the checksum this is important so the checksum of this file is calculated so if you change this file in the future it will be detected and flyway will throw an error so we can test that now let's add this character when the application is run and you see we got an error validation error because the script or flyway has detected that this file the checksums has been changed so 
this a change on this is not allowed i will show you later how to redo change in the database for now let's add the second script let's call it create owners table with this content and now if we run the application as you see the file has been detected and the content is executed we can check that in the database we see that the owners table has been also created and this flyway log table you see the second script is logged here the name of the script and the checksum and when the script has been applied so this is very helpful instead of using the gpe annotation however there is another things that you should know namely the flyway maven plugin so in the pom file we will define this a plugin this one flyway db plugin with this version this is the last one at this time and here in the configuration you have to define the url to the database and the credentials can also use environment variable and we see this property or parameter to false clean disable and development phase it is useful to to clean up the database so to start from scratch and therefore using this plugin let's run it maven flyway plugin clean so if we run this one everything in the database will be dropped so let's run and see now it is working and we can check in the database so the schema is now empty and clear and if you want to apply the change you don't need to run the application this is not convenient what you can do is to use the maven plugin again so what you can do is to migrate and as you see the change has been applied we can see that in the database the three tables are there the flyway schema contains all information about the scripts applied in the database so this is so this is the most important things you need to know about flyway all you need to do is to add the dependency to your pom file and by default flyway will use the configured data source here you have also the possibility to configure another data source but usually it doesn't make sense i hope you enjoyed this video and see you next one